According to statistics, venomous snakes bite up to 2.7 million people every year. This is a lot. But much more often, they test their venoms and fangs on animals, and they, unlike humans, can hardly be helped. How do lions and elephants suffer from snake bites? What animals can snakes finish off in a few seconds? And what animals are immune to venom? You're about to find out. In this episode, you'll see what happens to animals after they're bitten by venomous snakes. Let's go! Lion Let's start with the king of the jungle. The lion is a very powerful and resilient animal. It can deal with a buffalo, a giraffe, a hyena, a leopard, a cheetah, and many other African creatures. But snakes are a big threat for lions. A lion may simply not notice a snake and it'll bite it. Some bites go without consequences, but after some bites, there are a lot of troubles. For example, in this footage, you see a lioness that's been bitten by a venomous snake. It stands in the middle of a muddy puddle, breathing heavily. Soon the lioness begins to convulse. It twitches, growls, turns its head, and just suffers, trying its best to take away the pain. There's another lioness with cubs nearby. Unfortunately, they can't do anything. Their congeners doomed. A few more minutes will pass and the lioness will die. Usually, such a reaction occurs after the bite of the black mamba. This is the most dangerous snake for lions. One dose of its venom is enough to finish off 15 adult humans. One lion is about three to four adult humans by weight, so one black mamba bite is enough. By the way, this is roughly what happens to the blood of victims after a black mamba and other venomous snake bites. In this experiment, you can see the effect of the venom. Getting into the blood, it causes it to clot. As a result, the liquid blood turns into jelly and clogs the blood vessels, which inevitably leads to death. Honey Badger The lion's neighbor in Africa, the honey badger, also regularly encounters snakes. Of course, it often gets it too, and the reptiles bite it. Given the mass of the animal, of about 22 pounds, and its small size in general, we can assume that a venomous snake will finish it off much faster than the lion. But here everything is not so simple. Firstly, the reptile has to try very hard to bite through the thick skin of the honey badger. Even the teeth and claws of large big cats can't always penetrate it. Secondly, if the venom gets into the animal's body, it doesn't die. The honey badger may convulse, but after that it will simply fall asleep for a couple of hours. Unlike lions, the predator will wake up and go about its business. Sleeping after a venomous snake bite is something new. Not surprisingly, with such superpowers, honey badgers are not afraid to engage in a fight with snakes, as well as other venomous creatures. For example, it can devour an extremely dangerous scorpion alive, without even paying attention to its sting. Also, the honey badger is not afraid of bees. Their venom has no effect on honey badgers. So the animals boldly destroy bees' nests to eat honey because of its love for honey. The honey badger actually got its name. Elephant The animal world is astonishingly illogical. If the small honey badger only falls asleep for a couple of hours after being bitten by a venomous snake, the largest land animal of the planet suffers a lot. Like the honey badger, the elephant is difficult to penetrate. Its skin is about an inch thick. So many snakes would rather break their teeth than to bite through the giant's skin. Sometimes it happens. In such a case, the elephant is doomed to long suffering. Due to its large size, the elephant will die for a long time. For example, in this footage, we see an elephant after being bitten by a snake. It lies in the mud and can't get up. Not only is it stuck, but it has less and less strength because of the venom that's gradually spreading through its body. But this animal was lucky. It was found by the locals who helped it. The elephants that people do not find die from the venom of the most powerful snakes for long hours. Still, snakes prefer to attack easier targets than lions and elephants. Rabbits are among their most common targets. In this footage, we see an eastern diamondback rattlesnake hunting a rabbit. The snake is found in the southeastern United States. Its venom is very dangerous. The mortality rate after the bite is 10 to 30 percent. The good news is that the snake is not very aggressive and doesn't attack people so often. But it attacks rabbits very often. This rabbit smelled trouble and bounced away, but for some reason continued to sit in place. Although the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is not very fast, the rabbit would easily run away from it. It bounces away one more time, but again continues to sit in place. 
On the third time, the snake does not forgive this behavior. It bites the animal again, and it bounces away, this time in pain. The rabbit continues to sit in place, but now it can do nothing more. The venom gradually spreads through its body. In just a few seconds, the big-eared creature falls down and convulses. I think you've already figured out what this means. The rabbit gradually falls asleep. From time to time, it still jerks its head and legs, but in a couple of minutes, it freezes completely. This rattlesnake has really fast-acting venom. By the way, it wasted no time and began to eat its easy prey right on the spot. Snakes also deal with birds. As a rule, it's birds that attack snakes, not vice versa. Usually, eagles do this. These brave raptors can catch a sea snake right out of the water on the fly, or they can finish off a snake on the ground, pressing them firmly to the surface. But snakes get their revenge on birds, too. However, in this footage, it was not the eagle that got it, but the heron. A snake got hold of it near a body of water. The snake's grip turned out to be firm. The heron tried to escape, but the reptile wouldn't let it go. Even beak work didn't help. The snake didn't pay attention to the bite of the bird. Meanwhile, more and more venom was entering the heron's blood, making the bird weaker and weaker. Eventually, it managed to break free and escape from the snake. The heron comes ashore, but we see the outcome of the confrontation. It's weakened and cannot fly. Most likely, the venom has already taken effect, so the feathered creature doesn't have much time left. Dog It's one thing when snakes bite wild animals, but it's quite another when our beloved pets encounter them. In this regard, dogs are the ones that get hurt the most. A dog can be bitten on a walk or even at home, and stray dogs, needless to say, often become victims of snakes. Bites can manifest themselves in different ways. For example, look at these dogs that have been bitten in the muzzles. They end up swollen, like after a bee sting. It may look funny from the outside, but there's really not much to laugh about. These poor creatures are in a lot of pain. They were bitten by dangerous rattlesnakes that could kill a dog. Fortunately, everything was good. These dogs soon recovered. But not everyone is so lucky. If a dog doesn't get help, it will convulse and spasm, just like a big lion or a small rabbit. If it gets to that point, the dog is unlikely to be helped. Also, some dogs may start going around in circles after a bite. They get lost in space and have a lot of creepy symptoms on top of that. And yet, even dogs are not so often victims of venomous snakes. More often, snakes attack various rodents. In many reptiles, rodents make up a large part of the diet. First of all, I'm talking about rats and mice. Look at this rattlesnake lying in the same enclosure as a rat. It's already making its trademark sound. The rattle is working 100% which means that the attack is not far off. And so the snake makes a quick lunge and bites the rat sharply. The timer started. In just a couple of seconds, the rat starts jumping in pain, then freezes, and lastly, it convulses for a while. It only takes a minute for the rat to die. And here is the next prey. The snake bites it sharply, and the rat immediately starts scurrying around the enclosure in pain. It gets close to the snake, walks around the other side of the snake, and lies down next to it. The reptile doesn't even do anything. It knows that its powerful venom has already taken effect. A minute passes, and the rat is defeated. The snakes then eat the rats and mice that they have thus neutralized. These rodents are small, so even small snakes can swallow them in no time. Speaking of mice, snakes hunt them in a similar way. They stalk them, choose the best moment, and then make that fatal lunge. Look how this snake finished off this white mouse. It bit it sharply. The mouse began to rush around the container and try to get out, but literally in 10 to 15 seconds, it stopped moving. And here's another version of the hunt. The mouse was close to the snake, so the snake calmly grabbed it and injected its venom into it. Since the snake held the mouse tightly for a few seconds, the prey died very quickly. Within moments, the rodent was defeated. You bet, after all, we just seen the inland taipan and the coastal taipan in action. These are extremely venomous snakes. The inland taipan is in fact the most venomous land snake on the planet. One full dose of its venom is enough to kill not one, not even ten, but 250,000 mice. The coastal taipan is not far behind its relative and can kill thousands of mice at once. That's all, guys. Are you afraid of snakes? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.